I don't believe it. Saiki's so talented and he's getting torn apart. <coughs> <coughs> The featherweight champ Takeshi Sendo triumphs in his first defending fight with a crushing first round KO! <laughs> what a dominant flawless champ he's turned out to be! The second ranked challenger is destroyed in 67 seconds! Even though it's only his first defending fight, the Tiger of Naniwa already oozes style! It's hard not to start dreaming of his future on the world stage! KO time round one, one minute and seven seconds. Definitely a new record for shortest title match in Japanese featherweight history. Yeah, and on top of everything, you have to give the guy even more credit for setting the record against Saeki of all people. Driving an opponent who's known as the speed star right into a corner and finishing him off in round one with a KO is hardly an average day's work. It's absolutely mind-blowing. I still believe that Ippo's the best puncher around, but I have to admit, it did take him four rounds to take down Saeki. Mm. It was no accident. Huh? I was determined to take him down faster than Makano Uchi. I spotted you two up in the audience after the bell rang. But I got a little too fired up and actually set a new record. I really can't move on until I fight him again head to head. I have to win it without question or nobody will accept it. Even now I still can't say that I'm the champion. Huh? So please let me have a rematch with him. Let's see who's the best boxer in the country. Huh. Well it's easy to see that you're just as impatient as ever. However, I gotta admit that that's one of the things I like about you. Really? So are you saying you're gonna let me have my fight? Now don't get too excited. Mm. It's true, Ippo's probably going to re-challenge the title not too far down the line, but no matter who the reigning champion is, the kid's gonna take home the belt. I'd advise you to get your funeral plot picked out. It's easy to talk tough, however... You'd better think twice about the Dempsey rule, because it won't work on me. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? All the reporters are there waiting for you in the green room. Ah, put a sock in it. I'm having a very important discussion here. Yeah, well, your trainer's hopping mad at you. Uh, is he really mad? You better hurry. Uh, all right. Good night, Mr. Kamagawa. Set up the match, okay? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get going. Move it. Hey, who's the old fart with the cane? Pipe down, hey. will you? Hey, police! The boxer's hitting little children! Hey, keep it down! Damn, you kids are a royal pain! Hey, Chief, what do you suppose he meant when he said the Dempsey roll wouldn't work? Hmm... Saiki's not in bad shape at all. Sendo went in anyway. He's fighting tough as always. He's just barely dodging the jabs by slipping under them. It's like he knows their trajectory before they've even been thrown. The challenge is on the roof, and the champ hasn't even tried to hit him yet. Has he been driven back by sheer intimidation? No, there's more to it than that. He's doing that to warn Sendo that he's about to strike. That can psych you out more than the actual assault. Incredible! Saiki made all the right feints, but Sendo blocked his escape route as if he knew where he was going all along. He isn't anticipating the moves from experience like Date did. He's got his very own animal-like inner sense. Saiki's down! The referee stops the match! The match is over! He's strong. He's become such an overpowering threat since the time he fought me. Huh? Who could it be now? Chief! Uh, won't you please come in? No thanks. I'll stay here. How about that fight? Did you see it? Uh, sure did. Well, what'd you think about it? 
I'm in shock. It was pretty obvious that Sendo thought he'd better finish off Saeki in the first round. He's gotten so much stronger. A lot stronger than he was when he had to fight me and Vorg. It's only been a year and a half since All Japan Rookie of the Year. He's improved at superhuman speed. And you can take all the credit for that. Huh? Inherent ability and daily training. The self-confidence that comes from wearing the belt. The empty bitterness he tasted when the Vork fight ultimately came down to points. They're more than enough to inspire a fighter's rapid growth. However, there's still only secondary ingredients. He did it all for the sake of defeating you. I can see it in his eyes. <sighs> He's in the process of becoming an absolute monster, and you're the one who made him that way. He's thinking of you. I'm going to set up a match. It's going to be you against the featherweight champion, Takeshi Sendo. This time you're going to go out and take the belt for sure. Mm-hmm. We're going to training camp. Yes, sir. But I'm warning you, it's going to make you cry from start to finish. The belt. Sir, you know I really want it. I mean, after all, it's every boxer's dream. But still, I don't care about the title. I want to fight him. We have a score to settle. When we fought, he left the ring unconscious. And I was on the verge of losing by KO as well. I can't help but wondering what would have happened if the match had continued. It's weird, but it kind of feels like the match never ended. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why Sendo's hung up on it, too. Sorry to barge in so late, kid. Uh, Chief? Yeah? Um, the Dempsey roll. Hmm? I hate to say it, but I don't think it's gonna work on Sendo. Kid, don't clutter your mind with unnecessary thoughts right now. So, the Chief already came to the same conclusion. <clears throat> hey, hurry up! Okay! Oh man, I'm so glad we're doing camp this year, and check out the weather, it's August and it's smooth sailing. Yep. Sun and fun. The sweet mother ocean's calling us back, right? Not exactly, after all, we've still got a train. <clears throat> Look at the precious little beach things you've tucked away. Hey, it's rude to paw through people's stuff. Ooh, you're so high and mighty. No, why? You nitwits are barking up the wrong tree about something, aren't oh, you? Oh no, sir, we're only making plans for after hours. We'll be training our butts off, don't worry. That's not what I meant. Huh? huh? This year's destination is... The Mountain. Oh. Aren't we there yet? This is getting ridiculous. I suppose your buddy's some old hermit. Shut up before I kill you. Huh? Did you see that sign that we just drove by? It said, look out for bears. We're getting deeper and deeper into hillbilly heaven. This must be a cruel joke. There can't be a lodge here. Knock off all the whining and get ready to get the hell out. We're here. Yoshio's Lodge. What was this guy smoking? You'd have to be nuts to build here. Who wants to live on the edge of a cliff like this? It looks like it's ready to collapse and topple over the edge any time now. I like living next door to danger. Uh -huh. Nakoda, good to see ya! Kid, you old dog, you're here! It's been ages! <laughs> 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 You sure haven't lost your touch. And you sure haven't either. I can't believe those are the moves of men over 70. I couldn't even see those punches, and I was looking. Fellas, this is Ginpachi Nakota. He owns this wonderful mountain lodge you see in back of us. It's named for Japan's first world champion, Yoshio Shirai. So tell me again, are these young men your students? That big one must be Takabara, right? Hey, you've heard about me out here in the boonies? Oh, sure. I order all kinds of boxing videos and sports papers down at the foot of the mountain. You're the reigning Japanese middleweight champ with three KOs. Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed. That title fight the other day was real close, wasn't it, Makonouchi? Mr. Nakoda, you know about me too? That's really terrific. Come on, you're famous. That means you two must be... Oh, he's heard about us too. Charlito Dignos and Rocky Lin. We're not those boxers. Okay, let's get down to training right now. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Takamura, you stay behind. I need to talk to you for a little while about that match. All right. Shinoda, you take along and watch after the boys for me. Right, sir. 
The bears are out now, so be careful, fellas. Bears? Now that you mention it, I saw a sign. It's all right. We're three athletic guys. We can handle it. No sweat. If we run into one, we'll turn that sucker into a rug. Come on, let's go. slowly so you don't hurt your knees, but afterwards we'll dash up the hill! Yo! Yes, sir! <laughs> Damn him, bully by us like that! I'm not Come gonna on. let him get ahead of me! Hey, guys, watch it! Don't go overboard now! We've got energy to burn! Well, you got some good stuff there. You're a champ, all right. Go ahead and brace yourself. Because my punches will go right through this bag and turn your guts to baby food. Let's go ahead and leave it at that for the day. I need you to look after all the trainees and make sure they're okay, Nakoda. Come to think of it, those guys should have been back by now. They were putting down mountain running, but something tells me now they're a little rundown for put-downs. <laughs> Going downhill kicks your Let's ass! Let's skip the conversation! Man. Even I'm having trouble breathing! <laughs> At this angle, my weight's coming down so hard on my feet, it's hard to support myself. But this is perfect for tuning the most important element of the Dempsey role, getting a good feel for shifting your weight. I can see what Mr. Shinoda means. Huh? Is he trying to blow by us again? Makano Uchi, slow down! I told you to take it easy on the downhill! Behind you! Behind you! <laughs> Well, you're lucky you ran into him on the way down. Bears are fast running uphill, but their front legs are short, so they're slow going down. Thank goodness. Well, I think that shaved about ten years off my life. Man, I thought I was going to be bear chow. Ow! You guys are pathetic. You should have taken that bear out and gotten yourselves a reputation. No way! A real live bear is scary! But how are we going to be able to keep doing our road work? There's no need to worry. Huh? I have a method for keeping the bears away. That sounds great! I'll have everything ready tomorrow. Don't need no stinking contraptions. All I need is a crock pot. I'm gonna catch that thing, so get ready to cook bear stew. I'm no wimp like those pussies. <laughs> you sure sound confident. <laughs> What are you doing up so late? Chief! Let me guess, you can't sleep because you're worried about the Dempsey roll. Yeah. As we know, it can be extremely powerful just as long as your opponent's backing off. But then it's a bad bet if he's driving forward. And then when you factor in the number of punches Sendo throws and his overwhelming aggressiveness, there's no denying the trick will be rendered ineffective before it can even begin to work. In that case, what should I do? First, you need to understand the Dempsey Roll is not effective all by itself. Huh? When the originator of the technique, Jack Dempsey, would repeat a special move, he would always manage to force back his opponent without fail. Really? Without fail? First, the hard work to force back your opponent, then refining your technique, and finally the finishing blow. Only when those components are in place, will you actually come close to completing the total effect of the Dempsey Roll. Are you sure that's the only way? To completing the total effect? Yes. However, it'll be tremendously difficult to force a fighter like Sendo to back off. You need a lower body that won't be stopped by his power punch. The strength to make the most hits even if he charges at you. And that's what you'll acquire at this training camp. Yes, sir. I get it. Total body strength. That's right. I need to do more than just cook up techniques. I need to start with the power. The power to out hit Sendo so much that it forces him to back away. Take these with you today. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> 
<laughs> Knock it off! You guys are making me look bad, so quit following me! Hey, come on, man! Don't go knocking the bells. At least the bears aren't running after us today. Hey, I'm gonna sprint up ahead. It looks like the old geezer's dreaming up a new training menu. I want to see what he's up to. The only reason he could talk so big is because he's only seen bears on TV. Most suckers are gigantic! Oh. <laughs> Evil was attacked by a bear! What? Evil was attacked by a bear? Are you serious? He got attacked right out of the blue! Poor Evo, he's done for! He's probably being gobbled alive right this very second! Oh, yeah. Where'd you see the bear? We gotta rescue Makino Uchi! Well? Don't aim that gun at me, you old geezer! Oh, what, what are we gonna, gonna do? do? What's uh, that? Something's coming! Thanks a lot, you guys. You just run off without warning and ditch me? I got lost on my way back. Ugh, it's a dog. <laughs> you <laughs> little kids. <laughs> Sorry about that. Fortunately, he showed me the way back. <laughs> oh, good. I see you met Hachi, my dog. Hey, would you watch where you're pointing that freaking thing? All right, man. I'm going to bring out all the training gear each one of you needs. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Chop 30 of these. Split them up into quarters. Awesome. Looks like good exercise. I'll get right on it. Let's see. I guess I should split them lengthwise. Heave. Ah, some squats in the river. That's right. Standing in heavy current forces them to keep their balance the whole time. It really gets the job done. That's a dandy idea. <laughs> That's no good at all. Squats aren't effective unless you go all the way down. Huh? You don't squat and learn. You do this, 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 and this. Ah! He's been swept away. You could have drowned if Hachi hadn't jumped in after you. Mr. Nakoda, please, it's too dangerous. I'm very sorry. Uh, um. Okay, big guy. Five more reps and we're done for the day. Let's do it. All right. Uh. Uh. Hey, we're trying to train here. Do you mind? Uh, this is harder than it looks. Huh? Hachi? Ah, rats. He spotted us. Mr. Nakoda? No, I didn't want to bother you. Is something the matter, sir? You don't exactly look happy. I'm afraid I got in everyone's way. All I wanted to do was help out. Well, you're not in my way. I bet he sees so few people up here that he just wants to be part of the fun. Uh... Um, if it's okay, would you please teach me how to chop wood? I can't seem to split these right. What's that? If you wouldn't mind... <laughs> okay, just watch this. For starters, you need to stabilize your lower body. Got it? Got it. And then, you hold your chest out like this, and bring it down like so! Oh, it's amazing. It's cut absolutely straight. Back when I was boxing, I did it every day instead of training. Thanks to that, this is what I got. They say the back muscles are the source of power. I can't believe he's got this much muscle and he's over 70. You might think this exercise is primitive, but the effects are huge. I see. That's why the chief told me to do this. You're gonna need a lot of power to force back a fighter like Sento. But even if you do that, you'd only break even if you won. Are you talking about the punch drunk syndrome? Hmm. In the old days, there was a boxer who wouldn't back off no matter what. And no matter how many times he was knocked on his keister, he'd keep getting up. But he eventually had to retire because of all the brain damage he suffered. It took him five years to learn how to function normally again. Really? Actually, he never did fully recover. It was you? You always have to pay the price for those big knockdown, drag out, power punching battles. Especially guys like you. Hmm. But still, I can't just abandon my fighting style because of that. It's no good unless I exchange punches head on. Even if I do it only against Sendo. Ah, well. You're definitely one of Gen's students. So I guess you're telling me you're resigned to the worst. Mm -hmm. 
If that's the case, remember this. There's more to a head-to-head -head exchange of punches than using one's fist. Huh? There are other ways you can punch than by simply punching. What? If you keep that basic principle in mind, you can actually double your punches. But is that really possible? That little trick of yours gave me countless years of grief. Chief! This bastard forced me to ringside so many times because of that. And I could do it again to you right now. Really? Kid, call the gang together when you're done. This is a rare teaching opportunity. Let's share it with everyone. A way to punch without punching? A way to double the number of punches? Sounds impossible. What could it be? movement you make to throw an opponent off guard. You do things like step in, leading with your shoulder, just to create confusion. The only way for me to fight an opponent who's skilled at fainting is to adjust my mental attitude to match his. I need to train more. The camp is proving to be very tough, but I have to admit I'm learning a lot, so I've got to see it through to the end. Next round, Mr. Takamura's Tears.